The Lagolo have always been some of the most alien creatures within the Covenant. Large worms that form colonies, these colonies themselves gaining sentience and intelligence as more worms are added to the Collective. When discovered by the Covenant, Lekolo were a Tier 3 species, basically on par with humanity during the Covenant War, making them the most advanced species to join the Covenant after the San Shayum and Sung Healy. Many fans have wanted to see these strange creatures fleshed out more, and with the latest Halo Wars 2 leader, we get what are hopefully the first steps towards learning more about them. Among the Banished is a Mega Legolo pair that refers to itself as Colony. Sporting unique armor, Colony seems to be a representative for the Legolo to the Banished, directing all Legolo activities on the Ark. While it refers to Atriox and Atriox alone, Colony is known to undertake its own missions, often without informing other Banished leadership. Currently, its attention is focused on the resting place of the Forerunner keyships that once reseeded the galaxy. While we can only speculate on what Colony might be doing, I'm personally inclined to believe that it might have something to do with mendicant bias. A fragment of the contender was once housed in a keyship, and it was Legolo Worms that allowed the San Shayum to further unlock the secrets of the Forerunner Dreadnought that once powered High Charity. Like any commander, Colony must issue orders to its troops on the battlefield. Typically, Mega Legolo's speech is done by vibrating their bodies in a manner that mimics vocal cords. This results in a deep, rumbling voice that is more felt than heard. Presumably for the sake of ease, Colony uses a special banished translator to issue orders. When Colony takes command of the battlefield, it utilizes large numbers of Legolo-controlled constructs, including units and abilities rarely or never seen during the Covenant War. The first of these is the Goliath. When Megalagolo colonies grow too large, they split into two smaller but linked colonies, referred to as Bond Brothers. A Goliath is what happens when these two mini-colonies become one, a massive wall of flesh and metal, able to take and dish out huge levels of damage. The Goliath form does have its drawbacks, however, as the form requires massive amounts of nutrients to sustain, and thus is only seen during dire circumstances, often among feral Legolo. Colony, however, seems to be able to coerce Hunter Gestalts into the form at will. Next up is the Hunter Captain. These up-armored hunters are linked directly to Colony and its distant Bond brother via a specially modified Battle.net relay. For context, the spines on the back of hunters are typically used for communication between Bond brothers. Equipped with siphon beams, captains can drain enemy units of health. When a situation calls for it, they'll taunt enemy units to draw attention away from other units. When a Hunter Captain is on the battlefield, one can be sure that all Lekolo Gestalts are operating at full efficiency. After that, we have Skitterers. These tiny machines are driven by smaller Lekolo colonies. They saw limited use during the Covenant War due to the abhorrent nature of the mini Gestalts. Colony has since perfected these forms, allowing it to deploy Skitterers in large numbers during battles on the Ark. These machines can attach themselves to other units, providing additional firepower and healing. Something unique to Colony is its rapport with the engineers that the Banished work with. Born from this favorable relationship are a unique form of vehicle barrier that contain Legolo clusters. These both allow Colony to block enemy movement and increase its battlefield awareness. Sadly, these clusters are left with a greatly reduced lifespan. Another unique ability to Colony is Vehicle Symbiosis. A number of Covenant vehicles, such as the Scarab, are operated with the aid of Legolo worms, partially due to restrictions on AI research and development. Colony can take this further, calling forth swarms of worms to permanently increase vehicle armor and weapon range. Colony itself is a very unique being within the Halo universe, and what I hope is the first step into a deeper exploration of the Legolo species. What the Legolo want in general is unknown to say the least, and their culture remains largely a mystery. Hopefully that can change in the near future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you.